very disappointed. All across the United States, Republicans swept the House, or pretty much swept the House, and gained a lot of seats in the Senate, and um, won a lot of governor's races. But here in Massachusetts, it all went Democratic. Massachusetts residents have spoken by voting, but not all are happy. I just feel like um, the rest of the country could kind of see what was going on and there's time for another change, but here we just went the same old route with the de uh, Democratic. Bay State residents like Watertown's Sean McElroy are not happy that this blue state did not hop on the bandwagon of change. Many are upset about the decisions that Governor Patrick has made over the past four years. I hope that we can put our economy back on, on track. I hope that we can use some found, sound fiscal policies that are going to um, strengthen us. <laughs> uh, we need to balance the budget. We need to quit spending frivolously. And um, we need to do what we say when we get elected. This registered voter says that his fellow Bay State residents have a bad memory. McElroy states that people are taking advantage of this very democratic system. As a professional, I have health care through my company. I don't need the state run health care. Um, I think that government paying for people too much and like, sends the wrong message. I think people should be responsible for themselves. So. Despite political affiliation, most Americans still have the same hope for change. I'm hoping that some of the, the uh, tax cuts will, yeah, will stay in place so that uh, we have more control over our own money and how things are spent. Uh, improvement in our economy and improvement in our whole outlook of our country. The Republicans took 60 seats in the House of Representatives. Here in the Bay State, Patrick plans to work on three fundamental issues throughout his new term, health care, education, and job creation. Reporting in Boston for EIV News, I am Bianca Petaluga.